Welcome back to Python programming from beginner to programmer. In this session, we're going to embark on a very exciting uh, part of the discussion, linking us from Python to SQL. So if you have seen the previous video segments, you would have already acquired the key concepts behind how SQL uh, processes, stores, retrieves data in its database. Specifically, we've been using SQL Lite uh, to do a thin layer of implementation of SQL that can recite uh, and works very efficiently within a single computer. So no crossing of network, no remote server and all that. So all these um, improvements, I would say, right? All these shredding of the layers of complicated codes to deal with remote access to database makes SQLite very, very uh, lean and mean, and it is by no means a dumbed down version of SQL. Now, we have learned how to speak SQL in terms of reading and writing data in the previous video segments. In this session, we're going to move towards learning how to use Python only to drive SQL and from SQL to access and uh, read and write data uh, from and to the SQL database. So let's get on with it. The way we are going to pick up this bunch of uh, programming skills basically follows closely how we learn about SQL with a few um, exceptions. Of course, because it's Python now. Earlier on, we were dealing purely in SQL, so we were we were able to uh, um, perform data access using SQL without using Python. And in some cases, we use a separate software called SQLite Studio to help read and write, create table, and manipulate the data there. Right now, we're going to totally not use SQLite Studio or any other software other than Python and its interface commands with SQLite. So this is the key part of it. And to learn how to access uh, SQLite using Python, we have to have this cursor concept. So uh, this is a concept that the, 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 uh, any access using program uh, hopes to read and write from SQLite database will have to deal with cursor, right? So cursor is the uh, sort of interface concept with SQLite. Um, and then we can, of course, we need to learn how to perform SQL commands. All right, so these three bullet points will form the uh, sort of distinguishing part of uh, the Python SQLite interface. Then we have the standard create, delete, update, insert uh, of tables and data and all that. And uh, that pretty much follows quite the same as SQL. So whatever we learn about SQL, just do it here. But of course, we'll, we'll try it out so that we actually get it going directly within Python. And we also can use uh, SQL's multiple table access using cross joins and inner joins. And all those can be done in Python as well, Python's interface to SQL as well. So we are able to perform 100% of all kinds of SQL access using only Python. So in some sense, Python is going to be our new SQLite studio, uh, except it's not going to be user interface oriented. It's not going to be interactive. And by that, I, I'm saying that with, with excitement because uh, we really don't want, you know, manual kind of user interactivity. Certain cases we like, especially when we're learning. But as you go along and you want to automate more of your applications, you want um, more programmatic automated access to databases. This is the way, right? Um, and then we have uh, this part that is new here because we learned about pandas, we learned about data frame, we learned about uh, how to use pandas to access Excel. So we have now three kinds of concepts to deal with table-like data. One is Excel, of course, the spreadsheet. Then we can read into pandas data frame. And additionally, now we have the concept of a SQL table. So is it possible to um, sort of interchange data between these three uh, models? And that's something that we can explore here, right? After 
learning all three concepts and we can now uh, uh, sort of look at how we may play around, you know, uh, maybe interactively or even uh, interchangeably between these three models. And then, of course, we can uh, try to explore certain similarities and differences between SQL join and pandas join, right? Just a brief discussion since we have already learned pandas join and now we know also how to perform SQL join using Python, then one might ask, which is better? We can explore all those questions there. Moving along, let's look at the concept. So I've uh, kind, of, kind of drawn this diagram to illustrate how SQLite interface with Python might be thought of. All right. I mean, it's by no means a 100% a, a um, reflection of what's going on because it's complicated, um, but kind of at a super, super high level, what, how does Python talk to SQL? You know, how, how do we actually think about them? Here's one way I would suggest you think about them. Um, so SQL Lite 3 is a module that is uh, going to be imported into Python so that it is like it is part of Python. So SQLite is going to be just attached to this Python program here because we're going to import SQLite 3. And when we do that, it becomes part of Python. So SQLite is Python. And the only uh, sort of uh, remaining discussion is what commands and in what order and in what manner do we uh, invoke the functions and then uh, inject our SQL commands into it and, and then, then pass, the, pass the right parameters, values, so that we can connect to the relevant database. Remember, SQLite database is just a file in the file system. So unlike other commercial relational databases, we are using SQLite. So SQLite databases must reside within the same computer as the Python program that you are running on. Okay, so that's the main difference. Now, the cursor concept is the standard interface uh, concept that is being implemented by almost all SQL servers, commercial, freeware, and SQLite as well. So to access a SQLite database, remember a database is a file, right? But we don't use the word file. File is an operating system concept. So we're going to just use database, but keep in mind, database is as simple as a file. So a SQLite database that's stored on the hard disk, Python program and our variables and data frames that you know we have processed or semi-processed via pandas. Uh, what we do is we first need to access the file. To do that, our program needs to create a connection. We need to create a connection. So a connection is a SQLite object. A connection is a SQLite object that is going to associate a, a value, a value, remember a value object in Python, like one, two, three, or uh, a function or a lambda. These are all values. So it's going to associate a value, it's going to create a new value and link it to that file name, which is of course SQLite database. So whenever we touch this object, this object is, is probably a dictionary, a string or whatever, but, but it's going to be called a connection, right? So this connection object will have supporting methods, much like list has supporting methods, append, uh, pop and remove and all that. Dictionary has its own supporting methods. String has its own supporting methods. So likewise, this SQLite connection object is going to have its own supporting methods, right? For example, we might say, uh, you know, connection close. So, so we can just cut off the connection to terminate this 